Alright. I know I keep forgetting to do this. Might as well see. Is there anything more to see? Ooh, we have all of these. Everything done. So I don't imagine there's anything to see in here. Because I've already found everything in Snow Resort other than those darn photo spots. Of all things to have trouble with. Alright. I think I have a couple photo spots to find at night still, too. I don't want to spend too much time looking for those, but we've got all but like three in the entire game, so I feel like we should make some effort. Ooh, it's a very clear night. How do you have all these lights on and then still see the sky that clearly? Light pollution is a thing. I think I can see the observatory, too. Yep, two left here at night. Is there anything new to put on? I don't think so, actually. Is there? Welcome. At least put on something more entertaining or something like that. I think we're at that point where most of what we're going to be doing is pretty much just... Most of what we're going to be doing is mostly minigame stuff. In fact, I did want to get to the races pretty quickly because they usually take up a lot of time. Oh, I remember, did I have one before? I think I did. Right? Some other outfits here don't actually seem that special. Maybe it just seems like there aren't any special outfits here because there's so many not special outfits. I think I'm just kind of exchanging one random outfit for another, but I don't know. Something moderately different is fine. Feels obligatory to make at least some change each time. Of course, if we had more stuff to choose from, I'd go with the old Yukata type of thing that she used to wear. But we don't have anything of that sort here, unfortunately. I don't know why they limit what you can wear in each area. Well, that would really be like old times. Alright. So... How much point in the stamp dash is there out here? Is there? Eight keys left to go. Congratulations, you did a thing. Not much point to this anymore. Tricks. Snowmobile races. Or snowmobile races in particular. That looks like tricks. Because that's. New activity, so we all races. There you go. That was seven? Yeah. Or, no. I thought it was a plane. Around the places you need to take a chop to get to. Time shot. Jeez. Keep going, Granny. So I'm definitely get this blue. Curious if there are any red ones we haven't gotten yet. The game doesn't tell you, I don't think. Amazing. Right, that was ten, I believe. Nunchuck is not good to me today. Is the water you expect to hear at a snow resort? Okay. I don't know why the observatories already have these races, but I'll take it. 
Um, blue balloons are safe to ignore these days. Like, how can base just steal this dude's snow eagle? I like to imagine it's his. Oh, he's right next to him. Okay, so we'll be doing this for a while, I imagine. Do everything. Oh my god, all those races. Be your point. Is that basically what all these are? That one has laps. Be your point to go, basically. Are there any secrets I haven't learned yet? No. Not on this set of instructions, at least. Ooh, this is gonna be a while. Yeah, there's always one race activity that just has an obscene amount of stuff. They're fun. I'm racing at night, too, jeez. This is a weirdly short race. I need a sprint, so I guess that's the idea, but... That's ultimate trick you can do on this thing. So, I'm actually missing with ultimate tricks are on all sorts of different vehicles this whole time. I should potentially try to correct that at some point. Because I didn't realize that I forgot that the input for the best trick was different between the first two games. This game for the best trick uses the input that you do for the twister, I think, in We Skins No Board. Whereas build up trick in the original Wii's key was slightly different. I think instead of pressing just straight down, you pressed. Nunchuck is angry today. You tell it, Granny. The so best trick on this is a double backflip. There's really stuff to see elsewhere, too. On the jet skis and on everything. Um, is there, were there tricks you could do on anything in the mountain resort? I, I don't think so. I should probably go back to the city at some point, too, and see what the best tricks you can do on the skateboard and... Skates is there. Yeah, of course, I have to go back to the beach resort anyways at some point to uh, jump off a cliff. I'm curious how creative they're going to get with some of these races here, the snowmobiles, because it's just unique in that you don't have to go straight up and down. Help oh, straight down the mountain the whole time. Oh, and now we're going back to a, basically where we started the previous one. Not quite, okay. That's better. I feel like the races in this game are fairly fair for the most part. Maybe it's just the the sprint ones. The lapped ones don't feel quite the same. I feel like there's some noticeable rubber banding in those ones, maybe. Why does the road go all the way up to the right there? But I feel like it's a pretty natural sort of you just break out ahead and then. Their world is your oyster, sort of thing. Which, like, is realistic, and not something that usually people want in a racing game. For reasons I've explained in earlier episodes, but still. I kind of like how it feels how simple. I like how it feels so simple, and it's just what I need to be. And it still manages to be kind of fun. I don't think it might have been long or anything. Not the length of, like, Ultimate Shred and SSX on tour or anything, where you spend like 20 minutes on a single race down the mountain, and then Nate decides to jump ahead of you in the past, like in the last like 30 seconds, and you have to do the whole thing again. 
but still. <laughs> one of those games that I like, I don't expect to ever let's play just because it's a long, tedious game. It's a very grindy game. Yes, it's like Sun Door. Because a lot of the game is actually just kind of like building up. It's, it's making numbers go up, essentially. At least from what I remember of it. Well, that's not what I wanted. Like, how do you do a double backflip? That's not it. <laughs> how did I land that? This was... This was Opera Fury or any game like that, and that would've made me reveal very hard. Why can't I... Why does the camera go up when I try to turn? Is my nunchuck being weird again? Races with someone on a link can be nice. Not that I want to have to spend like an hour here <laughs> on this one mini game or anything. But I do like seeing what they came up with across the, the mountain. Just different ideas they have for stuff to do here. Different ways of racing across and whatnot. I think this time going on Serpent or Anaconda? Anaconda. Serpent, I believe, is from one of the earlier games. Let's see the hotels from here, actually. The hotels around the lake, that is. And there's that thing on the left I still don't understand the purpose of in the slightest. It's always weird when they put something in the game that seems to be kind of a secret, but then there's nothing actually there. Cannot take the death route this time. Turning less than I expected because the nunchuck is not responding or what? No, nunchuck's working. Excuse me? <laughs> that's not how that's supposed to work. How did I do that double backflip earlier? I thought it was just. C, down, and then shake. Which is the same, I believe, as doing the twister or tornado or whatever it's called in Hurricane. <laughs> it's called one of those things. I don't think tornado is it. I think twister and hurricane were actually... Were they both ultimate tricks in one of the games? I don't remember. Or maybe in each respective game? I play these games sometime apart, so I don't remember everything from them. Ooh, going down the mountain. I'm surprised we haven't done anything up the mountain so far. That's not as thrilling, I guess, if you're just like slowly climbing up the mountain, but there's there's a place for that. Not just flying down things at breakneck speeds, as fun as that is. See, I'm just in front of them every time. Ah. This is a longer race, speaking of which, jeez. Look how far we are. Yeah, now this makes me feel like I'm just off the, uh, off the course since I got a shortcut, like in Garibaldi or something else is extra key. With the game glitching out, trying to figure out whether or not I'm first or not. Making me hop between first and last place every few seconds. One of those games that I could use an excuse to play again every now and then. I have a few games like that. Where if I could just come up with some reason to play the game from time to time, I'd be very happy to do so. But I don't really know what to do to play the game again right now after having already played through it on the 360 recently. Which is a very unusual playthrough, of course, but here we are. 
Speaking of unusual, ooh. they're doing a little bit more than just going straight down this time. I feel like one that's just climbing the mountain would be a decent idea. Although, granted, the uh, freeform races are probably going to be something like that too. Where they just give you a starting point and an end point and say, have fun. Like going from the top to the bottom of the mountain. And vice versa would probably be a good idea for that. And by mountain, I mean the entire resort, not mountain plus resort, I guess. Not like what we just did here, where it was only the mountain section. I'm glad that they had both mountain and resort sections here for the, ooh, for the snow resort. Because I love the mountain. I love Mount Angrio back in our. Uh, I love that angry go back and we skiing snowboard. That was amazing. As much as I enjoyed the resorts as well. Nothing compared. Alright. Was that all of them? Yes. Okay, so that's one thing done in one episode. So next time we'll do the other kind of race. And then after that, another kind of race. I don't like the circuits and ones quite as much, but we'll try to get through it. Bye everyone.